Hi guys and welcome to the first episode of Marvin's 5. For the first episode, I'm going to show you how to prepare this beautiful recipe of rabbit that is simmered in amber ale. And I'm going to order my five ingredients from the Walt app. Perfect. Now that all my ingredients are here, we have our rabbit over here, rosemary, mixed spice, amber ale, and tomato pulp. So now we're gonna start off by putting some oil in our pan. We heat it up the pan medium high. We're gonna sear the rabbit after the oil gets a little bit hot and we're gonna sear it all the way and make sure that we have all the raw parts of the rabbit cooked, okay? Then after about 10 minutes of searing, we're gonna add our onion, uh, our garlic, excuse me, and we're going to chop some roughly cut garlic. Perfect. Now that our oil is pretty much ready, we will start searing our rabbit, okay? So, that's nice and nice and hot. Make sure that the flat parts, you only cook them for a little bit and you take them out of the pan so they don't overcook. Because remember, with this, we're going to then continue simmering it with the amber ale, our beer that we are using, and our tomato polpa, okay? Beautiful. Don't be afraid when you hear this noise coming out of your pan. That's beautiful. There you go. You can turn the small, the flat parts already because they're almost done from one side. And we will season the rabbit after that it is sealed. So we will first seal it and then put our salt. Normally, a lot of chefs use the salt before. I, I tend to use it after. Scientifically proving that salt absorbs liquid and juices out of our ingredients. There you go. Cooking rabbit reminds me of my grandfather. He used to breed them in the back garden. I remember we never used to eat uh, apples with the peel. He used to peel the, the, the apples and then give them to the rabbits and he gives us the rest of the fruit. He always thought of his rabbits, you know? Now, let's roughly cut our garlic. Just press it a little bit like that. And then take your small knife and just remove the peel. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. We have our beer over here and uh, this is an amber ale. It will make our recipe very smooth and creamy once we let it simmer with our tomatoes and our rosemary. I'm gonna roughly cut our garlic and then it's almost ready to put it in with the rabbit. I will stop a little bit from here to remove the flat parts. You see, they're almost ready. This is ready, we'll put it on top of this for now. There you go. I left over here out the kidneys and the liver. The kidneys are over here and the liver I placed it already. Perfect. There you go. You put it on the side so it doesn't burn, okay? That needs a little bit more. In the meantime, we're going to chop our 
garlic a little bit more. There you go. We have our rosemary over there. I already removed it from the stem, but we need some more. So there you go. This is how you do it. You take a stem, you take it from the top, the top part is good, and then you take it from the stem and you go, there you go. Perfect. This goes over here. There you go. Now, when you're cooking the kidneys and the livers, you need to remove it from the pan after it's cooked, okay? So, a little bit more searing, and it should be ready to throw in our garlic and our rosemary. Super. Now, our liver and kidneys are cooked, so I remove them. I put them on the side with the flat parts from the belly of our rabbit. This is almost ready for the first phase. Now we're gonna add our garlic, nicely and roughly cut. Now that our garlic is golden color, we're gonna add the rosemary. Nice. Give it a little toss in our pan. We have our beer, and we're gonna put the beer in to let it simmer in our ale. Beautiful. There you go. We can put our mixed spice now. Put about half a teaspoon of mixed spice. There you go. Perfect. We're gonna let it simmer and then add our polpa and again let it simmer for another, say, 15 minutes. The rabbit, approximately to sear it, it took us about 10 minutes. Um, the uh, liver and the kidneys took obviously less than that. And then now we let it simmer until the beer reduces to come to a certain texture that we needed and I will show you later and then add our polpa. Oh, the aroma is amazing coming out of this dish. I think you are gonna love it, guys. And with just five simple ingredients, and bang, you have a very nice recipe. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put in my polpa now. And now is the time that I will season my pan with salt and pepper and some chili flakes. Perfect. Be generous on seasoning, guys. There you go. And a little bit of chili. Don't put too much chili. And if you do like a chili, put a lot of chili. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to turn this around on the other side. Tomatoes over there. Let it simmer for at least another 15 minutes, and then we check it from there, okay? Oh, nice smell coming out of the pan. The beer, the simmering beer, mixed with all the other ingredients, is giving a beautiful aroma. We leave it there for another 15 minutes to simmer on medium heat, and then we check it later. Beautiful. This is nice and tender, almost ready. All we need to do, last little maneuver, we're going to put our flat pieces of rabbit, our liver and our kidney. Throw in that little bit of juice over there for extra flavor. Perfect, I'm gonna try the sauce. Beautiful, okay. Now we'll let it simmer for another uh, one or two minutes until the, 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 the other parts of the rabbit that we put at, at the end warm up and we're ready to play. Beautiful. Now that our dish is prepared and ready, we're gonna plate it. There you go. Oh, 
This beautiful smell takes me back to my childhood. And the Mediterranean flavors, garlic, rosemary, tomatoes, beautiful. There you go. Nice. I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of rosemary over there. And here we have our wine. And I paired this beautiful dish with a Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. That's it for our first ever episode of Food Blogs Marvin 5. I'd like to thank you very much for watching our video and also I would like to thank Walt and Fino for providing us with the ingredients and with our kitchen.